So, welcome back to the Shaky Painter, and today we're looking at Orc Skin. So, I've started there with uh, a grey sear prime, and now we're just going with some War Boss Green. Now, the idea of this, obviously, with a base coat, is just to keep the paint moving. Don't go over what you've been before, I'm not being particularly neat, just uh, whizzing through it. You can see, you just need to get a nice, good coverage. Now, with this war bus green, because of stage two, I'm not worried if it's a little bit thin than it would be normally. In fact, it all adds to texture of the skin. Now, as you can see, we are doing the uh, goblins slash orcs from the big mech gun set for 40k, uh, and we're just going to work through that bit by bit, slowly, slowly. Now the paint itself uh, is just slightly thinned down. I'm using a wet palette, so I've just thinned it down a little bit more than it would be normally from the wet of the palette, and just trying to get all over those muscles um, to pull that through. Now I do need to apologize for some of the some of the video goes a bit blurry, I'm still playing around with the camera, but you, you can get the idea. Uh, and apologies for not uploading a video sooner. Um, real life got in the way, my mental health suffered a little bit, but that's, that's what we're here for. We're here to talk about all those sorts of things. Now as you can see, I don't have my band on uh, for base painting, um, I don't need to. The, the shakiness of the, paint, of the base paint, it's not really massive massive uh, issue if if I go over some other bits then I go over the other bits I'm, I'm not overly worried about it um, because it's all going to be covered up anyway and apologies for my hand getting in the way uh, like I say I'm still playing with camera angles and still trying to learn these things uh, the same as as what we're doing now so instead of recording directly audio um, I've treated myself bought myself a microphone so I'm actually recording the audio afterwards. Now these these little orcs, um, I suppose they're orcs, almost goblin-esque. Um, they're a little bit smaller than your standard orc. Um, like I say, they are the orcs that come with the big mech gun set. And I'm going to be looking at painting these um, as well as the big gun itself. I've recently got into orcs, um, so learning all I can learning all I can about them um, in terms of their painting structure and to be fair we're only using four colours um, like I say we're going to start with War Boss Green and then we're going to use some uh, Creed Camo paint, uh, contrast paint but we're going to thin it down slightly oh we're going off camera slightly there, never mind um, then we're going to thin it down with some uh, here, here we go, so you can see some of the some of the skin done on, on all the others and I've I've got five to do so I'm, good, I'm just batch painting them here so next on the top of the right you can see we've got some Creed camo and what I've done is I've thinned this down about two to one so two part contrast medium to one uh, Creed camo just to help it make it flow better now something I've discovered with contrast paints is if you're going to use it as a shade like I have here just keep it moving don't let it settle too much in the recesses and if you see it start to pull just uh, just wipe off your brush completely I don't bother cleaning the brush I just wipe off the brush and just mop it up because you can use that that paint elsewhere on the model uh, and what we're trying to do here is just make those muscles stand out a little bit now the model in my hand does have a hat on it wasn't until after I'd painted him that uh, or painted the skin that I realized he actually had a hat on um, so don't worry too much about missing that. And with the feet, you can see I'm just dabbing at it just to get into those little recesses and creases there, getting ready for the highlights. And like I say, in this video, all we're doing is we're just looking at the orc skin itself. Uh, we'll cover the clothing um, in a later video. So it's two to one, uh, two to one with contrast medium. And you'll see it settles nicely in all the recesses just keeping the brush moving at all times just not giving it a chance to rest and settle anywhere just to start with 
Uh, once it does settle and dry, you'll see that it gives it almost like a shiny appearance. Now we're going to get rid of that using our Skarsnik Green next, uh, just to bring that colour all back. It does darken the skin down as well, um, but that's not an issue. You'll see um, as we get towards the end how different the skin actually looks. There are a few things that you don't notice when when you're you don't notice when you're building the models, and um, it's not until you're actually painting them that you can see those little details. So, like you see there, I'm going back over the head and the back of the neck. Um, without realizing he was wearing a hat um, but in future videos I am quite aware that he's got a hat on and I've painted the hat now so just giving it another quick once over just to picking up anything that I've missed now I'm using scars Nick green here um, quite heavily thinned down it's not a glaze consistency but it's not your bog standard layer yeah, it's not your bog standard sort of layer thickness. What I try to do here is just try and get some volumetric highlights in. Now, this is the first time I'm doing this. Um, and as I went through, I realized it wasn't really working as well as I expected it to. So I thickened it up a little bit more back to sort of the layer, layer paint consistency. And what I'm doing is I'm just going over the muscles, leaving the deeper recesses where they are, and just trying to bring some of that color back. Um, This bit I struggled with um, being so shaky. I do have my band on at this point. You can't see it in the video, but I have got my band on. I'm resting my arms on the table just to to try and get that that stability. Um, but it doesn't always work. It's it's not the end of the world. Um, you know, like I said in my Kairos video, I'm not a professional painter, but my painting's getting better. The more the more that I practice the better it's getting. I'm quite happy with the way these turned out um, and that's all anybody can ask for. So remembering the band technique is just to wrap it around your wrist, give it a twist and lock it down the bottom two fingers. Um, you can see now that I've started to hold my brush a little bit further up as well. Um, a technique that was taught to me by um, some other people that I know. Um, yeah my brush controls got better um, and that's just comes through from practice and it's practice 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 that's that's all it is um, so yeah in the next few videos we'll be finishing the clothes on these um, and then we'll look to get into the big gun itself um, now I am going for bad moon vehicles um, so we're looking at painting yellow yellow notoriously difficult so we should have some fun with that um, I do have a lot of orcs to paint, um, so we will look at some bigger orcs as well, using a mixture of contrast and classic method. Um, I've also just started a Slanesh army, so watch out for that. Coming soon, I've got Keeper of Secrets and Sinessa to paint. Um, but in terms of orcs, we've got we've got a selection of orcs. We've got an orc war boss. We've got Gazgul coming. Um, and we've got the mech gun and the big battle wagon plus a bomber jet which I've built as a DACA jet now as I say the camera did go out a little bit of focus there but you can see how the skins come up it's a lot brighter um, now we're going in with some nurgling green again thin down just past normal and all we're doing here is just picking up some of those high highlights now again I try to do some volumetric work here so you can see that I'm moving the brush towards where I want the highlight brightest highlight to be and I didn't want to go with edge highlights on this one um, just because I think edge highlight on skin looks a little bit unnatural so what I've tried to do is just pick up the brow the tips of the nose the, the fingers around sort of the chin just where it, it's really pointy um, now on the muscles what I've tried to do here is just a little dot and as you can see sometimes I'm not I'm not stroking the brush in some movements, I'm dabbing at it. Now with the knuckles I've gone straight across on the knuckles on the rest of it because I felt, felt that it gave it a better look. Tops of the ears, these sorts of things, just those sharpest, sharpest points. Um, and like I say, if I was dabbing at it just to give it some texture really, you know, I, I think that goblin slash orc skin is not going to be smooth, it's always going to be 
I think it's always going to be sort of have a little bit of a texture to it. Now I'm not worried about making these orcs dirty at the moment. What I'm trying to do is get some nice clean finishes on them. These are baby orcs, brand new. Um, and I don't really want to make them dirty. My whole orc, orc army, I, I want to try and keep clean. Some nice fine lines for highlights and things like that. So there we go. There's the first and the orc skin. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, so do subscribe, hit like. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comments. And um, I'll leave you just to finish the end of this.